Hi, Zintars. I hope I'm saying your name right. And uh, I got your question here about recursion. And so I hope I'm looking at the right code, but in the course outline, I'm looking at this recursion. Then I pop this open right here. And we have a little recursive uh, factorial problem. And with recursion, recursion is a function calling itself. And so here we're calling the factorial function. We're passing in four, right? It takes one int as an argument. And, uh, and so that four comes in and it's assigned to the variable n. And, uh, and then we check, you know, is that n, that value stored in that variable, is it equal to zero? And that's false, so we just jump over this. And then we come down here and we're gonna return n. So we're gonna return that four. And then we're gonna call this function factorial again and pass in four minus one. And so, <clears throat> That is a, a function factorial calling itself, right? The function is called and then the function calls itself. Well, that's gonna go on eternally unless we have some sort of escape. <laughs> and we call that escape a base case. And so if you look up recursion in computer science and look at Wikipedia, you, know, you can read about the base case, but basically the base case is I am getting done, I'm out of here. And so to understand what's being returned here, I'm just gonna put a little comma and we're just gonna kind of walk through this. And what we're gonna return, right, is uh, when we pass in four, n is four, four is equal to zero, false. We skip that, we're gonna return four and then we're gonna multiply that by factorial and four minus one, right, which that will evaluate to three. And so now when we run factorial three, what does that give us? Well, three, when we pass a three in here, is three equal to zero? It's not, <laughs> right? So that's skip, that's false. So we're gonna return three, right? So we'll return three times factorial, right? Because we do the three right there, and then factorial of three minus one, right? And then that evaluates to two. Well, when we pass two in here, what we're gonna, you know, two equal to zero, false, so we skip that. So now we're gonna return two, and it's gonna be multiplied by factorial. You know, so each of these kind of functions, when they're called, they stack up on each other, and then they'll return, and they'll give the values back, and, you know, this one will give back a value, and then that, you know, so forth, and then you finally get the whole value, which comes back here. So it's a function calling a function calling a function, but it gets a little confusing just because it's all nest in the same one. So this, this last one here, we had factorial of uh, two, and so we have two minus one, two minus one, which evaluates to one. And so is one equal to zero, that's false. So we're gonna have n is one there, right? And that's one, and it's gonna be multiplied by factorial one minus one. That's gonna evaluate to zero. And then when we pass in zero here, zero, zero equal to zero, that's true. And in this case, we're just gonna return one. And so we've got four times three times two times one times one, which is going to return factorial of four. And so that all evaluates and gets returned, which is what this one does when it returns right there. So I hope that helps, that explanation. I know it takes a little time to get your head around recursion. Mostly you wanna stay away from recursion. Recursion is just kind of like, um, what was that movie where it was like uh, the guy was in a reality in Inception, right? Inception, reality, Inception movie. I think that's the name of it. E reality within reality. I don't know. I can't remember. But um, that's uh, you want to stay away from recursion mostly. And you could do anything that you do with recursion. You could do it with if statements. So better just to use if statements and uh, and build it that way. All right, so that's uh, if statements and loops and things. So that's uh, that's recursion. I hope that helped.